ships. Let me send them to here to deal with this battle. Because we're bloody gonna need to. Oh my god, there's a massive corridor of space there I cannot get through. It's very interesting. Okay. I assume we'll be okay. An admiral is dead. An admiral of what? What admiral? Wait. Oh, I forgot it. Which one of my fleets doesn't have a bloody admiral? Uh, this one doesn't. So we're going to have to wait. There's nothing I can do about that, I'm afraid. So let's go to the map and watch my fleets. We're heading up this way. We have some combat going on in there already. Oh my god, are we just scouting the system at the minute? It looks like it. It looks like we are just going around scouting everything. To, uh, to see what's going on. Now there is something going there. Is that an allied system or an enemy system? I think that's an enemy system. So let me grab my fleets and head in there. And see what I can do. I might be able to lend a hand. Might not be. I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. But let's find out. Let's, uh, let's pop right in there. And have a bit of a look. So what's going on? There is, uh... There is a thing there. So let's just blow that up. Alright, so that's gone. Uh, let's first off make sure there's no enemy fleets within my territories, which there aren't. Uh, let's go to the system then. So all my ships should be arriving here momentarily. There we are. So let's go blow that up. There we go. So blow that up. Let me also just declare these guys my rivals, because I can get a little bit... Okay, um, I can only have three rivals at a time. Well, you're going to stop... No, you're not going to stop. You're going to stop... No. Is it you? Are you going to stop being my rival? Yeah, there we go. Alright, so they're no longer my rival. Uh, you, on the other hand, are not my rival. There we go. Right, so... Oh, good lord. Enemy fleet. Big enemy fleet just arrived. This is going to be interesting. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, I think we're tearing through them pretty well. Yeah, we're... we're Oh. Oh, boy. That's a big enemy flight. Uh. You know, I think we might be outnumbered here. I'm losing something. My destroyers are gone. That's not good. It's, uh, it's a bit of an issue. I think we're okay. Yeah, we're, we're gonna be okay. I just, it's annoying that I lost those bloody destroyers. Okay, tear through them, please. Let's keep this up. Jesus Christ. I've never seen this many ships at war at one time. Good lord. Okay. Well, here's what we're going to have to do, for one. Uh, for one, make sure that the enemy ships aren't trying to get into my territories at all. For two, head over this way and start attacking things. That's just... Uh, Take out that station, please. There we go. So that's gone. Let's bombard the planet. I said bombard the planet. Right, so let's just keep that uh, bombarded. Are we winning all? They want. They have a lot of demands, don't they? Um, yeah, so they, they're not really going to accept much. That's fine. This little planet's going to get wrecked in the meantime. And what I think I'd like to do is, for one, go to my new fleet, which is a new fleet of uh, destroyers, right? Yeah. So a new fleet of destroyers can go sit there. Uh, so they can do this. In fact, no, go back there. That's fine. Once the destroyers are done, I think it's going to be a really good idea to get myself some cruisers. So I'm going to get 10 of them. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 cruisers. Should be a good number. And we should have a very interesting fleet once those cruisers are up. Uh, so first fleet and second fleet kind of need to merge together, to be honest. And as for the cactus fleet, I mean, that planet is getting a little bit effed up. Uh, so let's go see what we can do. Uh, for one, I guess we probably want to head to this planet here and see what we can do. So let's go to Morinius and see if we can just wreck some face. 
A lot of enemy ships or friendly ships following me. Um, there is a bit of a friendly military force here with me. So let's head that way and see what we can do. So what's this? Uh, they have declared war on the League of Im Im Imuthor. Okay. Well, you do that. Let's just take these guys up there. <laughs> One hell of that. Is, that's ridiculous seeing forces of that size and that strength. It really is. Right, so let's destroy everything they have here. And bombard the planet a little bit. There we go. So that shouldn't take too long at all. Another friendly fleet following me there. Let's, uh... Let's head that way. Then head that way. Then back to bombard the planet. Basically, I just want to take out all this stuff. Now, that didn't cancel my move. No, it didn't cancel my move. Good. And then once we've, uh... Actually, maybe we don't want to bombard the planet. Let's just select you and head that way to uh, destroy that a little bit. And then we'll head... I guess we could head around, couldn't we? We could start heading over this way to take that out. That might be an idea. Let's head that way. So, right, what's going on back this way? So if we have a look here... We have some decent fleets. Let's just go ahead and put those together. All right. The cactus fleet is probably going to be all right. They have a few planets here. So this should be fun. So let's go and absolutely wreck whatever they have in this space. There we go. Interestingly... I didn't get followed here by the other, uh, the other fleets. Or have they just got here? No, they haven't. Okay, this one's going to be a bit slower then. What's this? Powerful. Oh. The Call of Sovereignty has a bit more support. Manage the faction. Suppress their media. I mean, they're not that powerful. They're just a little bit popular. Okay, let's, uh, for one, why did those guys not follow me? The hell's going- Oh god, are, they, are you guys at war? I'm slightly concerned these guys might be at war here. We don't have border access, so I'm gonna say no. Alright. Um. I guess we'll head in here and see what we can do. There are... Placid Leviathans in here. Any friendly ships coming my way? Doesn't look like it. Uh, let's go see if we can take out Roms here. Seems like an idea. I mean, they have some stuff in here. I'm sure we can lend a hand. This is going to be a long war though, isn't it? This is going to be a ridiculously, ridiculously long war. So let's go, bull let's go uh, <laughs> bulldoze that planet. Uh, we don't have any scientists there and there. We're going to need to get some. Don't have much influence coming in, though. Let's go for... That, I guess. Now we're, bulldo we're bulldozing that planet. Uh, what is this? That's a war has been declared. Okay, we really need more influence. Uh, what could I get rid of, then? I guess I could probably do with getting rid of some of my... I could probably get rid of this, to be honest. So delete that. Gives me a bit of influence. Probably shrinks my borders a little bit. Yeah, it does. But that's okay. Uh, then delete that frontier outpost as well. Which again, shrinks my borders a little bit. But that's alright. Okay, so this is, this is fine. We can deal with this. So let's uh, go ahead and merge those fleets. That's a fairly powerful fleet as well. Uh, there is some starvation going on here, which is a problem. Uh, let's go to surface, and I can upgrade the hydroponics farm. And that one I can't see. That already is upgraded. Okay. Uh, that's fine. Let's go ahead and upgrade the power plant a little bit. Let's do a hydroponics farm there. And a hydroponics farm just there. 
All right, so that seems fine. Okay, okay. So why is this? This is a very slow process, isn't it? We have a small allied fleet with us here. But not much. This planet's getting obliterated a little bit. Uh, if we want to negotiate, they will... They won't give me those. But we're at a point where we're getting close to them giving giving up. Do I maybe just want to go for a victory that would give those guys that planet and me that planet? Because I could do that. Alternatively, we could go for that. That is an option, I suppose. And it is a victory. I'm going to... I might send those demands. Yeah, I'm going to send those demands. Did they accept? Yes, they did. Or did they? Yeah, the war is over. So we now have... Uh, these guys have a bit more space up this way. They have that planet. Uh, those guys have expanded, I think. Or did they just get two? I think that was just two planets, wasn't it? Yeah. That's okay. That's okay. We've shrunk their borders a little bit. Which is probably for the best. Uh, so let's have the Cactus Fleet return to my capital. The first and se the second fleet here has some cruisers and all that in it. Um, this fleet doesn't. So let me look at the second fleet here. Um, do I just want to merge them? I think I'm just going to merge these into one giant fleet. Then have some cruisers in there. Just have a bunch of stuff in there. I think that could be a really good idea. What's this? Declared a rivalry. That's fine. Yeah. This, this has been good. This has been good. We have a sector. We have some territories. Um, I don't, I really don't like these guys. Really don't like these guys. How did you settle down there? You have a wormhole. I, d I don't get how you're settling down there. I really don't. I mean, can I see in there? You have, you have a planet? Can I settle on planets? Like, is that a thing I can just do? I mean, there's a planet there. Quite bloody clearly. But I can't sell on it because it's not within my borders. Do I have to survey it? I would have it. I would. I would doubt it. Planet has not been served. Oh, for God's sake! Right? Can you go and bloody survey that planet then? Science ship. Go there. Oh, you can't go there, can you? No, oh, you've got a bloody wormhole station. That's how you did it. Um, I need access to these guys' borders. Can we declare war on you? Oh, we can. Okay. Well, in that case, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, I want to vassalize you guys. Now, you're not going to agree. You guys will. Now, you know what? I don't want to vassalize you. I want you to give me your planet. Just just give me the bloody thing. And whatever's done this way as well. Seems fair. That'll work for me. I am going to... You're going to vote no. Why are you going to vote No. I confirm, confirm. We're promoting this. We're putting this war idea forward. I'm voting yes, research of course. Complete. Some research has been completed. Uh, I do have enough to get some scientists now, which is good. So let me go to recruit. Let me get you, I guess. And put you there. And you. And put... Let's go with... Uh, this one. You'll do. There you go. Right, some new research... I reckon Tropical World's probably a good one to look into. That. Maybe. Um, let's. What is this? Allows genetically uplifting and socially integrating species which are close to being sentient. No. Uh, let's just look at tile blockers then. Okay, so this war declaration. It better be approved. I mean. I don't. I don't really want to decline the war. I want to promote the war and be like, yo, let's do this. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully it'll get approved. That would be nice. Because uh, I would like to start moving down this way a little bit. But we'll see. We will see. It's up in 50 days. In 50 days, we get to decide on this war. Which will be very interesting indeed. Uh, so let's see. Let's just go ahead and merge these fleets again. There we go. Are we at war? It failed. 
bugger. Okay. I mean, why? Why, why, why did it fail? I don't want to end my rivalry. Um, I need border access to your system. And you're going to give it to me for nothing. <laughs> Apparently you're not. What about a non-aggression pledge? Somehow I don't think I'm going to get this. Military access, civilian access, information, star charts. Nope. Migration access, no. Research agreement, no. Okay, you are not interested in giving me anything. Um, what if we look here? We're currently at peace. Form a federation. What would a federation do? I don't actually know what a federation does exactly. Like, I have no idea. I, I, I don't, yes. What's this federation then? So, wishes for the alliance to become a federation. So, two people are voting no. I mean, I'm voting yes. Uh, I also want to go to war with these guys. So, if we vassalize them under me, these guys say no. What if we vassalize them under you then? So, everyone says yes. So, these guys are really thirsty for that territory. That's annoying. Um, what if we liberate the planet under you? Let's, let's, let's liberate then. Let's, let's go for a liberation vote and see what they do. So we are now at war. So I can head this way, which is great. Uh, so let me head there. Actually, no. Let me head there first. Let me grab my colony ship and send it there. Let me grab my science ship and send it there. Survey that system. Now, that's, that's a good move for that to be taken. The colony ship, on the other hand, has taken a bit of a long route. So I want to send it there and then there. Why can the colony ship not make that jump? Just, I want you to stay in the outer systems there, buddy. There you go. Actually, to be honest, colony ship, you're better going there and then there. No, you're better going there, 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 and then there. Right, go. Make your, make your way there. Do your thing. I have my military fleets doing their thing. Uh, this should be interesting. They have a lot of ships heading out, don't they? Let's head there and see what's up. What is that? Oh, they have a few things in there. Okay. Right, science ship. I want you to go and basically survey this system. Yeah, survey that system. Do your thing. Etc. Etc. Colony ship is just there, making its way there. Um, so these fleets need to merge a little bit there. These two fleets are well on their way, though, which is good. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. This is um, this is gonna be a nightmare for these uh this enemy fleet, or this this enemy in general, not the fleet, but they have one planet left. Actually, let me see something. If I send my, if I send you guys to there, Research complete. so go there. We have one cruiser. I want that cruiser to go and destroy that. Please. Just just blow the bloody thing up. It's annoying the hell out of me. Uh, research complete. What have we got? More pyro plants would be nice. Survey speed. Energy storage. I'm going to go with this. Right. Just blow that thing up. That's all I need you to do. Just absolutely eradicate that friggin' thing. Please. I mean, take your time, but for the most part, that, that that's what I wanted you to do. That, on the other hand, is not. That is a problem. Um, retreat. Please. There we go. So that is not within your territory. Of course it is. Um, I mean, that only makes sense, I suppose, but it's annoying. Okay. Science ship, what are you doing? You are down here. Uh, colony ship, where are you? You're here. Can you colonize this planet for me? You can. Right. Go colonize there. And whilst you're doing it, I want to go to Herdia Prime. Actually, no, I don't. I want to go to Olympia. I want to go to Spaceport. I want to build another two colony ships. Uh, for one, I want the individualists and... Yeah, I want those guys. Then I want another one. I want... Those guys, I guess? Sure. I'll do. Right, so go and do your thing. It'll be amazing. 
Uh, as for my armies, I suppose I want you guys to all merge into one fleet. We have, uh, we're gonna have to wait a little bit for that to happen. They are all in different places. But I can wait. I have no problem waiting. We have a bit of a military force heading in there at the moment. I don't know if they're actually attacking though. I think they're coming to join me. System survey complete. There we go. System survey complete. Don't mind if I do. Uh, science ship. Here's what you could do for me. You could go and survey a bunch of systems around here. So survey that one. Survey that one. That one. That one. That one. Uh, that one. I don't think that one's in their borders either. So go survey that. Then that. I said. Okay, we can't survey that one. Then survey that system. Okay. That'll be good. That'll be useful. We have a planet being colonized here. I'm okay with it. Spring is the name of that planet. Okay. Bit of an expensive process colonizing planets these days, but that's fine by me. All right, the second fleet here needs to merge as well, but we're just going to let that uh, take its time. So these guys are going to merge in with the first fleet any second. There we go. I said, I mean, take your time. There we go. First fleet has been merged. Okay. So Cactus Fleet and First Fleet, I want to grab both of you and send you in there. So let's go push forward and see what we can do. All right, we're moving this way. We're not. We're going to, we're moving this way now. Let's go. Let's get right above that planet and see what we can do. We have a pretty substantial fleet. I think we'll be okay. Yeah, I... I don't think this is going to be a problem, to be honest. We're doing all right. Good lord. All right. I think they might be at a point where they're ready to give us what we want. Uh, so, liberate the planet, please. Let's, um... Let's send those demands. So that's... The demands have been placed. Victory. No access to here. And no access to here. Okay. So they are not independent. Good thing I got my ships done here when I did. Um, question. Can I invade? No. No declare. We can't. We have non-aggression pledged until 2353. So 10 years. Okay. They're an alliance member. Oh. Oh, hold on a minute. So, basically, we have we have non-aggression pledges. Uh, has trade deals, and we guarantee we guarantee independence and a non-aggression pledge for ten years. I'm going to demand your vassalization and see if you'll accept. Uh, that would be a no. Okay, okay, well, that's annoying. But that's fine. That is progress, I suppose. Uh, let's look at research. What have we got? Resettlement cost goes down. Buy a ship upgrade cost goes down. Arid world and continent. Let's go continental world. And advanced railgun. I think I want the advanced railgun, to tell you the truth. Okay, so what have we got down this way? I mean, these guys here are going to need a spaceport. Uh, so let's get Spring, which we can't yet. Okay, Spring, you need a spaceport. There you go, buddy. Get that built so we can start getting you some ships down here. So we can get colony ships down here. We can get construction ships down here. We can get a bunch of things done here. Now, this colony ship here, there are a bunch of planets around here we can actually colonize. So this is going to be really, really good for us. We might actually be able to bridge the gap between these systems. Uh, now, my real question would be... What would it take these guys to give me a system? Okay, they want, I actually can't. I can offer systems. I can't request a system. Okay, that's a bit frustrating. Okay. Um, research agreement and research agreement. They aren't inclined to accept. All right. That's fine. That's okay. Uh, let me grab my... I grab those two and merge them. Let me then grab those guys and send them back to Jeff. And let them do their thing. Okay. So I realize the colony ships I'm building currently are a bit of a waste of time. So Olympia, maybe cancel that colony ship, mate. There we go. And I guess this one here. 
Is there anywhere it can, I can... It can settle down there, I guess. There are a few planets in the area that we could settle on. We could settle on one down there, I guess. Not a bad idea. That one there, that little moon, I suppose. Let's go settle it. Can we not sell it? Does not have, we do not have tropical colonizer bugger. Um, what about this? Can we drop? Is that tropical? Does not have tropical. Okay. Well, in that case, forget it. We'll go to one that we can sell, which is just here. So, let's go sell that. Sell right there. And do our thing. Good. That's not even all that far away. Uh, anyway, ladies and gents, I think I'm going to leave it there for today with Stellaris. I've been recording for like three and a half hours, so yeah, probably for the best to let my throat just rest a little bit. A lot of things done today, though. A lot of things that I'm incredibly excited about. We've joined an alliance. We've taken over some territories. We pretty much wiped those guys out over there. Uh, I say all the time that you're supposed to mute your phone when recording, and yet I still don't do it. That explains the cut there in the video. Anyway, as I was saying, I am going to leave it there for today with Stellaris. We've discovered a lot of things. There's actually the Chim Empire here, which I assume is an offshoot of this one or something that's sort of rebelled or something's gone on there. Uh, but this is exciting. We're part of this alliance. We're growing our borders a little bit. I can sort of move through all this space. I do want to declare war on these guys again at some point and slowly take them over. I think that's going to be something very interesting to do. But, uh, yeah, that is going to be it for today. So, uh, thank you kind of for watching. This has been Stellaris, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.